In this week in military history, we explore the fall of the Russian provisional government led by Alexander Kerensky to the Petrograd forces led by Vladimir I. Lenin. In February 1917, food riots began to occur in the city of Petrograd. By March, these riots had escalated into a full-blown revolution with civilians, police, and soldiers fighting in the streets. On March 15th, the Russian Tsar, Nicholas II, abdicated the throne in favor of his brother Michael, who never wore the crown. Socialist and non-socialist leaders in Russia bonded together to form a provisional coalition government, which was recognized as the official government by the United States and Britain. The provisional government was undercut by the executive committee of the Soviet, located in Petrograd, who issued an order for all Russian army and navy forces to elect their own committees or Soviets and send those representatives to Petrograd. At the head of the provisional parliamentary government of the Duma was the Directory, a leadership team of five men headed by Alexander Kerensky that was established on September 1st, 1917. As the Bolshevik leaders in Petrograd solidified their power, Kerensky closed the Bolshevik newspapers on October 24th. The fighting which took over the streets of Petrograd immediately following this closure became known as the October Revolution. The Congress of Soviets organized by the Bolshevik leaders convened in early November and concluded the provisional government did not represent their interests. Lenin then ordered a revolt against the provisional government. The Winter Palace, which housed the provisional government, was surrounded. The crew of the Russian warship Aurora fired its guns in support of the Bolshevik soldiers surrounding the Winter Palace. Kerensky fled to the front and the provisional government was deposed on November 7, 1917. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.